Okay, Side by Side Nation and uh, UTV enthusiasts. Here we go. Part of the uh, C-Stacker general build. I'm installing one of these spring brake thingy uh, parking brakes. <clears throat> so Polaris just has the, uh, you know, the in-transmission park feature, which is fine for, you know, minimal incline. But as you all know, when you get up onto a hill and you put that thing in park, it, boy, it makes a hell of a bang when it when it comes out. So I think we got a really good solution here. So spring brake thingy, quick unboxing, installation overview, and I'll try to do a quick video of this thing in action here. But yeah, so pretty simple instructions. Uh, it's literally, I know this, I've watched the video on how to install this thing already, so I probably won't go too in depth, but seriously, it's two bolts um, down near the brake pedal. So it's like nicely packaged here. Yeah, looks like it's nice and qual nice quality metal, nice quality construction, nice heavy duty spring here. I mean, this is a, uh, I mean, this isn't this isn't some cheesy solution. This thing's, I mean, it's really simple, but it's nice. I mean, this is uh, good stuff. So apparently, <laughs> what this tells me is that somebody uh, must have been doing this. They must have been trying to use this as like a mouse trap or something. And, you know, flexing the spring or whatever when they got this. So sometimes these warning labels uh, crack me up. But you know, when you're the guy who has to sell and warranty these things, uh, I can see why they might come in handy. So anyway, we will acknowledge that, and we are not going to uh, overflex the spring here. So um, and then also a little warning. It's on a just it's inside the box here with the uh, it's on a sticker. But uh, I mean, common sense. Don't over tighten those the nuts here that we're going to attach it to. Um, this snug fit. I mean, the last thing you want to do here is uh, over tighten these, but yeah, what we're going to be doing, I'm not going to do a full on install video because I mean, this is seriously, this is the, probably the easiest thing I will have done on this machine since I've got it. But, uh, you know, here's the brake pedal. You've got uh, one stud, two studs. Um, it looks like on the general, they're two sizes. I think if I'm looking at that, I believe it's probably a 13 mil and uh, probably a 10 millimeter. So yeah. I'll come back here, I'm going to slap this thing on, and I'll come right back. Alright, here we are about uh, two minutes later. Literally, I should have timed it. Uh, if it took two minutes, it included me <laughs> getting the uh, the sockets and stuff out here, guys. So, uh, yeah, there it is. Spring brake thingy installed. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't say enough about how easy this is to put on. It Seriously, uh, anybody could do this. So... I mean, installation took the absolute most basic of tools. That's it. I used a quarter-inch drive, uh, quarter-inch drive ratchet, uh, ten millimeter socket, thirteen millimeter socket. The only reason I got a long here, uh, deep here, is uh, I must have lost my my normal uh, ten millimeter somewhere here on my disaster of a workbench. As you can you can see, it's pretty uh, pretty messy here. So anyway, so yeah, this thing's installed. Uh, that's it. I mean, if you don't have these tools in your garage, you know, to do this, you're doing something wrong. But, uh, so function-wise, I mean, it, it couldn't get simpler. Push the brake. Flip over with your foot. That's it. I mean, that's, uh, you want to disengage it. That nice, you know, heavy-duty spring they put on there, um, you know, works really well. Man, that's it. Off. Put some more boots in there. Yeah, on, off. That's it. Also, too, you know, sitting uh, just from a driver's perspective here, um, I like how they put the the lever on there as red, sort of a reminder. You know, you go to throw this thing in drive, you forget you have this parking brake on, and uh, you know you're wondering for that half a second, you know, why in the heck your Polaris or your machine, your side by side, isn't going anywhere. Um, you know that red. That red down there will remind you pretty quick. It's like a flag. So, I mean, you can easily see that from your from your driver's position, even with the steering wheel. You know, it's turned right now, but you can see that. So, I love it. So far, I love it. Let's go do a quick test. Uh, I got a pretty steep driveway, and uh, let's throw this thing up on the driveway, see if this parking brake holds. 
All right, a little bit of a final test. Uh, get this thing installed, and I don't have a ton of huge hills around here, but I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, pulling up into the berm here in my yard, it's a pretty decent sized incline. Um, I didn't pull all the way up there. It's just too wet and muddy. I don't want to tear up the, uh, the grass underneath, but this thing's parked at a pretty decent incline. Um, again, I know it's hard to tell on video, but yeah, this brake's holding tight. So I'm pretty impressed. I, I mean, you can adjust this thing for as much or as little tension as you want with the, uh, the saddle bolt on the uh, saddle bracket, I guess, on the brake pedal. You can run that thing in or out if you chose to do so. Um, I think if I were to give this thing a good push, it might creak a little bit. But I mean, for what this thing's intended to do, which is just take that pressure off the parking pole, I think this is a winner right here. This thing's holding tight. Tell you over here, it's uh, running still, but it's in neutral. It's not like it's a park or something. It's all nice and tight and neutral there. So, yeah, final word. Uh, pretty impressed. The ease installation is great. Uh, quality is fantastic. And uh, I think there's great value in this. It's honestly probably one of the I add this to my list of must-have mods for one of these things. So if you guys got any questions, uh, come on over to Side by Side Nation and I'd be happy to answer anything for you. Quick last little tidbit here, just uh, sitting in the machine, still neutral. Show how tight this thing's holding. Neutral, neutral, sitting on a pretty good incline. I'm just gonna put not on the brake. I'm just going to pop this thing off and yeah, it aggressively rolls backwards. I'll stop before I hit my kid's uh, play structure, but yeah, pretty impressive. See you guys over at Side by Side Nation. Take care.